Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial in Explain 10 about ILS lending. I'm sorry, it's not Explain 10, it's Explain 11. Anyways, um, I have not seen anyone really on YouTube doing this type, this tutorial about ILS lending, so I have decided to do it myself. And I'm sorry about any construction noise in the background. I will try to remove them if I can. So uh, before we uh, resume our flight. I have spawned in for a 10 nautical miles approach. The airport is right there and I am landing at 34 right in Seattle Tacoma which is the demo uh, default which I'm playing the demo to. So yeah, I'm gonna buy it uh, by the full version once it releases on Steam because it's easier to you know launch all my games from one platform. And anyways, uh, I have not done anything after I spawned in, so I probably should on the lights and set flaps to 5. 5 should be fine, and I should probably set autopilot too. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna set the autopilot really quickly. I'm sorry because uh, I didn't set this before starting the record. Uh, auto throttle, flight directors go on. Uh, this heading is 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I'm still sorry about any background noise. 3, 4, 5. Uh, autopilot engage. Pause and unpause the simulation, please. There we go. Uh, you. 1000 heading. Select speed uh, for about 210. Should be fine. There we go, 210. And before we continue uh, once again, uh, if you want to do an ILS landing, you will have to require the runway that you are landing on, the frequency of it. To find it out, if you're in X-Plane 11, it's very easy. You just open up your map. If the map doesn't work, then just reset your flight or wait a couple of seconds. And anyways, um, here we are, and 24 right is right there, so... Uh, if you select the IFR low and root or on root, uh, whatever it's pronounced as, uh, you might see three of this, um, uh, thingy. I'm, I forget what this is called. And, uh, if since we are landing on 24 right, you will want to click on the one that you're landing on. If there is three, it's usually quite hard to click on the middle one if you're landing on the middle, but, um, it's recommended, uh, to click around here if you are, you want to land at the middle runway if there is one. So anyways, now we only have one, which is good. Uh, I don't know why the other two is not there, but it's okay. And any, uh, here's an example of uh, three runways together. So if you want the uh, frequency of the runway uh, that you're landing on for ILS, you just click on this big, big thing here, and you, su you should see the frequency here. If you don't want to tune it uh, right here and here, you just have to click here and here and it should be automatically tuned in for you. And um, when you're approaching this uh, iOS uh, localizer thingy, uh, you are recommended to be around 2,000, 3,000 feet depending on where you are. 3,000 will be about here-ish, 2,000 will be about here, I think. Um, if you're higher and lower than that, just do circles and uh, reduce your uh, altitude and that's about it for the localizer uh, frequency or uh, I mean ILS frequency and we should probably resume my flight while autopilot takes control of my plane and um, yeah the plane is reducing to 2000 feet now as you can see uh, speed since it's at uh, so low I'm just gonna reduce back to 190 and uh, that's about it um, uh, I will just have to wait until I mean range of the localizer and glide slope, which is also ILS. Uh, that's at least what I say. So I'm not sure if that is the correct term or not. So yeah, um, we are about there. So I can decrease my flaps to ten. And I'm just gonna keep the map on so that I know when to engage uh, approach which is here and uh, if you can see uh, let me pause the simulation really quickly uh, you, if you can see here that there will be one pink diamond here and one pink diamond here this pink diamond is for your localizer and this pink diamond is your glide slope uh, if your 
localizer is uh, over here or over here, you are not recommended to click the approach button yet. If you see your this pink diamond move in uh, from either side uh, to the center, it is recommended to click your approach button already. If you are uh, around the uh, capturing place for your ILS, and this pink diamond is your glide slope. If it's too high, I mean, if it's high uh, around here, uh, which is at the max point, you are supposed to increase your altitude or you just stay at your altitude until this thing comes down. If this thing is below um, this point, which is like over here or something, well, you have to decrease your altitude uh, faster than um, 1000 feet per minute because if not, you are, you are really never going to catch up to the uh, glide slope and, your, and you can't reduce your speed in time anyways. So that's about it. And since um, my this pink diamond is over here, I can actually click the approach button already. And um, once you click the approach button, uh, there will be a localizer and a glide slope here, uh, white color. And uh, if uh, you are in range or your localizer and glide slope and or glide slope has been captured, it will override your heading or end or your altitude holding slash your vertical speed and uh, it will help you land to the runway that you desire and when that thing goes to green uh, you're not su supposed to really control your heading or your altitude depending on which one it's it has captured so uh, at this point since I think the since the pink color is at the center here the pink diamond uh, your my localizer should be captured any moment after I unpause the simulation and the glide slope should be captured uh, once um, the pink diamond goes down since I'm staying at 2000 feet until the glide slope has been captured so as you can see uh, since I unpause the simulator the localizer has been captured and now it is uh, guiding me to the runway uh, while I'm still waiting for the glide slope as you can see the pink diamond is slowly coming down so that's uh, when I will, I mean, when my glass look will be captured, and um, we should decrease our speed 180. Uh, flaps is 10 now, I'm just gonna decrease it to 15. And normally, I would uh, decrease, not decrease, uh, lower my landing gear once. My localizer and glide slope has been captured, which is about now, so my landing gear can come down. And um, you should normally put down your landing gear at about 15 degrees flaps if you are in a 737. That's it. And uh, we are just gonna wait until we arrive at runway about now. For now, I mean. And uh, that's basically what you have to do for ILS. And uh, before we land, I just want to say that uh, since ILS is uh, not really for autopilot landing and so you, have, you will have to do manual landing at the end so I recommend you to disengage your autopilot at about 400-300 feet some will say that it was it is too late some will say it is too early it depends on uh, what you feel like doing flaps can be set to 25 now and speed uh, should decrease to about 150 there we go so yeah that's when I'll disable my autopilot and land manually and sorry if my landing is pretty bad horrible I'm still new to flight simulators and I just started like a couple days ago so yeah guess we'll now just wait until 400 feet above where you are now and wh what I mean by 400 feet is this and not this so, just to warn you first, uh, yeah, we are about to disengage my autopilot soon, about 200 more feet to go. Flaps uh, is 25, no it's 15, I should set the 25, there we go. 400 feet uh, very soon, 50 more feet to go. So close, disengage, there we go. 
It will give you a warning that autopilot is disengaged as usual. I should probably decrease in height. Because I know this is a long runway, but it's fine. I'm a bit left, which is not good. I probably shouldn't use my rudder. Oh god. Um, <laughs> and engines idle. Larry can step on now. First thrust, activate brakes, and there we go. First thrust can come off, and now manual braking only. I'm just gonna uh, stop at the runway and show you the replay of my landing, and that's about it for this video. So, yeah, parking brakes has been set, pause the simulation, and I'll replay the landing for you guys uh, if you want to see if not from out here on it will just be my landing and that's about it i hope you guys have enjoyed watching and i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye Once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, hope uh, the tutorial has helped you, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.